up I'm gonna be showing you a day in my quarantined life that's what's happening today so um as you know if you watched my video the other day I came back home to Alabama to spend time with my family because yeah everything's crazy right now but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna spend my Saturday while being quarantined I am working from home but today I don't have to so we're gonna keep ourselves busy and productive and last night I stayed up till like midnight watching the office and doing a puzzle which we'll do that later of course but right now it is only about 10 30 and i just made a smoothie it was really good like so good and i'm about to go and actually make go ahead and make lunch so i told y'all i would be doing some cook with me's and so that's kind of what we're going to be doing today too and i'm going to be making it's kind of like an alfredo pasta but not alfredo it's like a like a shallot parmesan -y, really good cheesy pasta but not too cheesy like a cream based pasta so we're gonna make that with some chicken last night y'all i discovered how to make the best fried chicken sandwiches like so much better than like popeyes and all that it was so good and we have a lot of leftovers and i can also make that chicken if you want me to so i'm gonna bring you inside the lighting is not super good inside so that's why i'm doing this out here but we're gonna have a good day i got up and i got dressed to pretend that I had somewhere to go today. So we're just gonna rock and roll with it today and it's gonna be a good one. Daisy, what you doing? She's hunting something. So yeah, if it gets not so cloudy later, we will lay out. It's gonna be a great day. Also, I have a basketball that we're gonna play with today if we can get my court set up. Okay, so you can see we're boiling some water right here. It looks like it's pretty much about done. And then we found these mini penne noodles. Um, so I normally do either bow tie or penne. We're going to go over here and make the sauce. And this is everything we're going to put in it. So this is the chicken I made last night. Y'all, they're so good. They're like juicy, crunchy chicken tenders. And... Yeah, I'm gonna have to make those for y'all again sometime. So, these are all the ingredients. I'll link it down below, like how much I do of everything, but we're gonna start by putting, um, we're just gonna do this thing of butter. So this is about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna turn our, that was my doggy breathing. We're gonna turn our stove on. And so I'm just gonna, it's kinda hard to film. Um, so the butter's gonna melt, then we're gonna get a spoon and I'm gonna do let's see if this will work we're gonna do about just a tablespoon worth of garlic it's also gonna go in here okay so we're just gonna kind of let that chill and then we also have a shallot and shallots are like the best thing ever in the entire world <laughs> so I'm gonna chop this shallot up which I obviously cannot do actually this might not be a bad view. And don't judge me, by the way, I cut this up because I don't really know how to cut anything. So I kind of just go with whatever feels right. So this is what it's looking like. So it already smells so, so good. I'm just gonna use the same spoon and kind of let all of this get a little warm and toasty and brown. And we're gonna go ahead and put about three handfuls of pasta. Um, it's for about three people, including my brother. Forgot I was filming, so I put a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil. Um, and then I poured in one, I believe this is, what is this measurement, 16 ounces. So, sorry, I don't know if that was in the camera. So, I put 16 ounces, like this little little thing, of heavy cream in here. And then also salt and pepper. And so, I'm kind of just making sure everything's all scraped off the bottom. We're going to go ahead and get the cheese ready. So, it's really, really simple. So, it's more like, of a, like a garlicky base rather than cheesy base, like I was saying. So... We're gonna put in our Parmesan, and I'm also gonna add some ricotta. So, I don't know how much Parmesan this would be. This is probably like fourth a cup. Okay, so that Parmesan was actually expired, so I got a different one out. But I probably put like between a fourth and a third of a cup of Parmesan in here. And then we're also gonna do like two scoops of ricotta. So ricotta has become like one of my favorite types of cheese. 
um just because it's so like i don't know i don't really like cheesy cheese this is more like creamy cheese if that makes sense so we're gonna put those dollops we may add some more if needed so i'm just gonna kind of stir all this around and then you add as much cheese as you need to make it thicker so we might need to add some more parm but yeah i'm just making sure it's all kind of broken up i may add another scoop of cheese just to make sure got it nice and good also i'm gonna add some more pepper because pepper is good i'm gonna add a little bit more cheese because this looks a little bit watery if that makes sense and then we're gonna add some parsley to be honest i feel like parsley doesn't even really taste like anything even when you have like fresh parsley i always put it in everything i cook but i never really taste it okay guys so the pasta is finally starting to really like kind of not boil but you know kind of so we're gonna turn it down to about one and then i also just or not the pasta the sauce did we also have the pasta noodles over here that i just took out dump them in the sauce so the ratio is a little off but it's okay and then we're just going to kind of absorb or whatever it does whatever the pastas do probably could have added a little bit more pasta or a little bit less sauce but it's okay okay and so last step i'm just gonna cut these chicken tenders up and put them in the sauce as well can we just take a moment for how good this chicken looks and how good this chicken is like it is so good so that was like two tenders right there and then we're gonna add the rest okay so this is just gonna heat up our chicken obviously and i feel like grilled chicken would be really good with this or even like just sauteed um because like the fried chicken has like the breading on it so it might kind of fall off but that's okay so voila this is the final product i actually haven't even tasted it yet but we're going to and it's gonna be great this angle really ain't it but i am i know i'm quarantining but my recommendation to anyone out there if you're feeling okay and there are small businesses that are still open in any way shape or form please support them um especially like those that are offering takeout because they're struggling like so bad like so many people have lost their jobs and it's just really heartbreaking and so right now i'm about to go to the local coffee shop called atmore coffee house um if you're from the area it's really good and i'm going to go and just get a coffee they're only doing to-go orders so i'm gonna walk in pay with my card put it in the chip reader so not touching anybody and then grab my coffee and skedaddle and come back so yeah i did get a new thing for my car i'm using it right now that you put on your dashboard to like be able to film with and it's really really cool i haven't figured it out totally yet but this angle is like not yet yeah so i just got back this is my little iced latte again if you can support any small business do so because it's just heartbreaking like all the restaurants that have closed um it's just really really sad daisy agrees now it's only one o'clock it feels like i've had like the longest day ever um i'm debating on if we want to like lounge in you'll go outside if we want to like watch a movie or something or if i want to go out here and lay out because look how nice it looks out here like we could get a nice tan for these white legs what do you think today I may like stay in for like an hour and then come out. Okay guys, we're gonna find something to watch on TV. Um, but this is the puzzle that I had, was working on this night with my mom. We honestly, for one day's work for a 750 piece puzzle, we got a good, good bit done. Also Daisy decided to come back inside. She has her little Tigger. Oh, is it Tigger? that's my ponytail holder but yeah i think i'm gonna watch something on tv and maybe work on this puzzle for a little bit and then just just chill maybe take a nap i don't know not really that sleepy especially since i have coffee um but yeah it's gonna be a chill day also i may play the piano later on um because i love playing the piano and i've played since i was five but since i don't have one where i live I don't really get to play, so I might do that too today. Okay guys, so it is now three o'clock and look at this progress. I will definitely finish this tonight and it kind of scares me because this was the biggest puzzle 
or one of the biggest puzzles that I have and I finished it in two days so the rest of them are smaller so we're gonna knock out a lot of puzzles over the next week yo I swear they're so underrated even Kylie Jenner put a thing on her Instagram story and she was like that's what I did my whole pregnancy and they're so fun okay so now it is so sunny outside and it feels so good and I know over the next week um even like when I have to work I'm gonna go work by my pool and right now I'm in the mood for a <laughs> pina colada so we're gonna make just a virgin pina colada we found this mix this is not the mix that i normally get i normally get the bacardi brand frozen um it's alcohol free and you can get it like in the freezer section like in the frozen fruit area and then take a little bit of pineapple juice and put some whipped cream on, on top and oh girl so good so we're gonna make up a little pina colada i might throw actually i think i'm also gonna throw some real pineapple in there it's gonna be so good okay so we're gonna use the same blender i used for my smoothies this morning okay so i put like two spoons of cream of coconut um probably like a half a cup of ice just a zhuzh of pineapple juice like a fourth a cup two pieces of pineapple and we're just gonna do not yeah this is probably gonna make like two pina coladas. So, whoo, I'm so excited. Guys, I just tasted it with a straw. Holy cannoli, so good. Okay guys, this was literally the only glass I had for this, but I put a little bit of grenadine in two cherries, which I shouldn't have done because I don't even like cherries, but it's so good. Oh, we gotta get whipped cream. So this is our alcohol free pina colada okay guys so we have our phone airpods water and by the way our water filter is broken so we have to have a bottled water right now tanning oil uh towel and then this baby right here oh my gosh this is so great this is what a day what a day okay so here's the situation about to put this on we also don't have any chairs right now so i'm just laying on the ground and this is so relaxing daisy's my little watchdog so we're gonna get some music in okay guys i've been out here like a little bit over an hour it's a little bit after four still super sunny as you can see it is starting to go down um i kind of want to like run around the yard <laughs> i want to like do some kind of exercise thing um yesterday daisy and i ran around the yard and my legs and booty are super sore today so my mom has a kettlebell and we have some weights so I may go do like a kettlebell workout um but it's getting a little I don't know the sun's not as like powerful as it was but I do feel so good and there are ants on the ground out here everywhere so I need to figure out what to do about these guys because I'm gonna be out here every day Daisy has done a great job patrolling the area she does that every time we're out here like she's protecting us okay guys it's like 4 30 now and it's super bright and sunny outside so we are gonna do a front yard workout my brother's with his friends playing basketball in the back so here is our hard deal we have this kettle kettle ball is it a kettle bell or kettle ball whatever and then this jump rope we got the other day from walmart when we were buying groceries and then i'm just gonna put on some music and i'm gonna look up um workouts with this kettlebell kettlebell whatever it is so we're gonna go out here in the yard i think we're gonna start off by jump roping I actually really am pretty good at jump rope haven't done it in a while though so could be lying okay guys so we just finished a little workout i'm trying to see how many we did it for like almost 25 minutes and burned like 200 something calories so not too crazy a lot of jump roping but we're about to play some basketball with our broken backboard um so yeah i haven't played in such a long time so this should be interesting okay so i just took a shower and we are having burgers and i made the shake shack sauce homemade let me know if you want the recipe it tastes pretty similar and we have french fries so good stuff okay so my mom and i just finished this one but we're missing a piece so it's pretty much done, but without one piece. But look how cool. So nice. These are the other ones we have. I think we're gonna do a smaller one next. 
Okay, y'all, so it's like 10 o'clock, and my mom and I finished the first puzzle. By the way, we found that missing piece, and then we did a second, smaller, 300-piece puzzle. So, this has been our night, and then we've been watching The Office for hours and hours. And it's not like I have anything to do tomorrow besides, like, watch church online and, you know, keep myself busy again. But all the things I did today made today go by actually pretty fast so um probably gonna be a similar schedule tomorrow but let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me over the next week or so while i'm just here doing my thing if you have a great night stay inside stay healthy bye guys Mwah.